431, 730 AM, 102.9 FM, WTNT. Andy Parks live from the Washington Times. And I'm joined now by Times247.com editor, Catherine Temp. Hello. Hello. Wow, I have some big news for you. Um, I've received uh, several emails in the past 24 hours from folks saying, hey, I got a TV for you. So remember yesterday I had pointed out that uh, uh, you didn't have a TV. I don't. And uh, it's it's very, very, uh, well, it, it concerns me a great deal. <laughs> knowing that you have nothing to do with your time when you go home. You know, you just right. have to stare at the wall. Right. So I have uh, a lady sent me an email about a um, some type of recycle program that has televisions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, a, a listener, long-time listener of mine called in to say, hey, I got a TV she can have. Oh, um, nice. You, yeah, you have, to, you have to go by and get it. And it's like. Okay, well, I really can't have you go by someone you don't know. Right. You know what I mean? Even though I know this guy, and he's and he's you know for years he he and I have corresponded. Um, I, I really can't have you do that. She was last seen going to pick up a <laughs> yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. And so I'm going to try to work something out. But I think I think we got you. This is nice. Okay. This is nice. So anyhow, um, we're working on it now. Uh, as far as a new car, no, I don't think we're no, going to. Do that. Uh... <laughs> so anyhow, uh, just just so you know, okay. So I've, you know, I got a funny feeling. Not too long from now. Uh, that's that's great news. I was here here last night watching the debates. I don't know. Okay, did you ever watch Friends? Yeah, Back? yeah, okay. sure. sure. True or f- like Candy Crowley looks exactly like Chandler Bing's dad, <laughs> right? <laughs> the drag queen, exactly like him. I couldn't get over oh, it the whole time. Oh, that's funny. That's whole very time. funny. Oh, so I have that's a theory. Beautiful. All right. Uh, so I'm assuming you guys have. Uh, you probably have something. Up we on have the website a lot right of things. Yeah. Anything anybody wants to know about the debate, it's there. Can come to our website. Okay. Well. The, I heard you talking about the assault weapons with Emily a little bit ago. Yeah. Actually, that woman who asked that question yeah. was a registered Democrat. Oh, wait a minute. I thought these were supposed to be They people. were supposed to be independent voters, but it was on Washington Free Beacon. Oh. It came out that she actually had registered as a Democrat in New York. Oh. Well, so you know, it's funny because I talked about this in the first hour, and I had to laugh out loud because Carrie Pickett the other night said, "Wait a minute, they're going to have 82 people there that don't have an opinion. There are not right. 82 people in New York City that don't no. have an opinion. No, you know. Yeah, so I mean, it, 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 yeah, we're going to find out more. Yeah, more. I was going to say this yeah, is probably just the, just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, but, I'm sure like, it is. Did All you right. Did you hear Obama yesterday saying that you should only deport gangbangers? <laughs> 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 he was talking about immigration. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. well, I, heard him talking I don't know that. how women in binders is sticking out more than that. I'm like, the president <laughs> just said gangbang and nobody else is, seems to care. Yeah. But I just wanted to point that out okay, to everybody. Good, good. All um, right. A point well taken. <laughs> and uh, what else? Well, the State Department has actually still not ruled out the role of the video. In the oh. attack, according to, came out today from sources. It was on Fox News, unnamed sources. Oh, really? They're saying, you know, people in Libya were reported as saying, ah, I was just mad about this video and this and that and the other. Mm-hmm. So they're still trying to pin it on this video. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right, anything else? Yes. Federal government is giving state funds to help plan anti-texting enforcement. Including, and it's for two states, Connecticut and Massachusetts. Right. And they're putting police spotters on the overpass. So the, if they see people texting? Yeah, if they see people texting, they're, they're going to have some sort of like hey, you know, sting operation. I mean, I don't know. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. You know, I don't know about you, but I still see a lot of people doing that. Right. And, you know, and I know it's illegal in Maryland, and I travel you know, most of the time in Maryland. Right. And I see people on cell phones. I see them texting. I see them reading the newspaper. I saw someone eating sushi with chopsticks and dipping it into soy sauce. I've seen all kinds That's of... That's pretty impressive. And, what are they going to eat? Right yeah, now, I right. know. You know, years ago when I was on the air, I was talking to a Maryland State trooper. And it's a true story. He said in Greenbelt, on the Beltway, there was a major accident caused one night because a guy was actually having a candlelight dinner with his wife. <gasps> they were having spaghetti while <laughs> driving down the Beltway. Can you see the scene? No I mean, can you see that in your mind? Somebody sitting there, you know, juggling the plate of spaghetti as they're driving a car probably 70 miles an hour down the Beltway. And it caused a huge crash. Well, cop, of course it yeah, did. And the cop, well, the cop says... He says, you know, we get to the scene. He goes, we're wondering what the heck was going on. Oh, and we find yeah. out later that, you know, you have to attribute the cause of the crash. 
to this guy not paying attention because he was eating a candlelight dinner in you a know, car. Fitting in romance, I hear, is important in a, yeah. in a marriage. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, uh, is that it for today? Uh, are we, uh, yeah, we got whole, mostly a whole oh. bunch of debate stories. Oh, you know, okay. and this is the third debate where the Democrats have gotten more time to speak. Oh yeah, it, it, yeah, I heard. Yeah, each and every one. Last night, uh, what was it? Uh, Obama got three minutes more. Mm -hmm. Yep. Three minutes, maybe a little over or something. He got a lot of extra help, too, obviously. From, yeah, yeah, he did. From Mr. Yeah, Bing. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we get you a TV. All right. All right, right see you. Good. Catherine Timp, the editor of Times247.com. It's 436, 730 a.m., 102.9 FM, WTNT.